Have you ever wondered what the benches are and how they work? Well, you're in the right place. So grab your notebooks and get ready for a wild ride as we dive into the world of the benches. Forget boring finance classes. I'm here to show you how the benches can turn your financial knowledge up to 11 and so doing impressing your friends with your newfound financial wizardry. Let's rock the world of investments together. Let's rock the world of the benches. Let's rock the world of the benches. The benches are a type of long-term debt instrument issued by corporations, government entities or financial institutions to raise capital. They represent a loan agreement between the issuer and the investor. When you invest in a debenture, you essentially lend money to the issuer for a specified period. Let's look at a very simplified example of how a debenture works. Company so-and-so is trying to get a loan, but the bank is saying, I can't give you one billion. So they need a lot of money. So they need to look somewhere else for the investment or this loan. So they go to investor A. Investor A says, yeah, sure, I will give you the $1 billion, but we need to draw up some sort of agreement between us. And this agreement is the debenture, also known as an IOU. So basically, company so-and-so says, I owe you, investor A, $1 billion, and I will pay it back after 10 years and with 10% interest per year. So that is a loan agreement. So up until this point, it seems like a loan. But the difference between the loan and the debenture is that the loan is not normally transferable. So if you have a loan agreement with a bank, that's your agreement with that bank. It can't be transferred, not normally. So in a debenture's case, it's basically a transferable loan. So if investor A doesn't want to wait the full 10 years for their money back from company so-and-so, they can actually sell this loan stock or this loan agreement to investor B and so forth and so on. So investor B can then sell it to investor C and investor C can sell it to investor D. And then let's say at the end of the 10 years, investor D is the person who holds the loan stock. So basically investor D can go to company so-and-so and say, please, can I have my money? I want the 1 billion, please. Public limited companies can raise money by issuing the benches or loan stock on the stock exchange. My example of company so-and-so was just very simplified. So these type of loan stocks can actually be traded on the stock exchange as well, where it is open to any investor to invest in. So it's almost like a share, but this is a loan that you're investing in. A debenture is simply an IOU, as I mentioned with that example of company so-and-so, issued by a company or a public limited company in return for a loan of money. A person who has lent money to a company and now holds a debenture receives a fixed rate of interest each year for as long as the loan is designed to last. In my example, we looked at 10% and that was for 10 years. At the end of the period, the loan is repaid. So after the 10 years, as my example showed, the loan will be repaid and whoever holds that the bencher will receive the money back. If the holder of the debenture wishes to get their money back before this, they can sell the debenture to someone else on the stock exchange. As I mentioned, if investor A didn't want to wait for his money, he can sell it to other investors. The new holder now receives the interest and is repaid for the loan when the date to repay falls due, so the maturity date. In the event of the company going bust, the debenture holders are the first to be paid the money they lent the company. Advantages of the benches from the point of view of the investor. Fixed income. The benches provide a predictable and stable source of income through regular interest payments. In that example of company so-and-so, it was 10% that they agreed upon per year. Diversification. 
Investing in the benches allow you to spread your risk by investing in different companies and industries. So it gives you another option instead of just investing in normal shares. Seniority in repayment. If the company goes bankrupt, the venture holders have a higher chance of getting their money back compared to shareholders. Flexibility. The benches offer different options, like converting them into shares or being repaid before maturity, providing flexibility and potential benefits for investors. Disadvantages of the benches from the point of view of the investor. Interest rate risk. Changes in the interest rate can affect the value of the benches, which may decrease if interest rates rise. Credit risk. There is a possibility that the issuer may fail to make interest payments or repay the principal amount. So it is important to consider the issuer's financial health. So when investor A is giving so-and-so company that amount of money, then they have to actually make sure that company so-and-so is actually financially strong enough to repay them. Lack of ownership rights. Unlike owning stock, the venture holders don't have a say in companies' decisions or share in companies' profits. They are not shareholders in a company. A debenture holder like investor A or C or B or any of those investors, they are not shareholders. They have given the company a loan. So they don't actually have a say in anything that the company does. They just want their money back and they want their interest. Limited capital appreciation. The benches generally offer a fixed rate of return, limiting the potential for significant increases in the value of their investments. Because you agreed upon that 10% in that example of company so-and-so, that is what you agreed upon. There's not more. The value is not going to increase. That is the 10% that was agreed upon. In the case of government, we also have the benches. Governments, the benches are just called government stock or guild edge securities or government bonds. So these are normally repaid after 20 to 25 years. They sometimes are a bit longer than the normal type of the benches and it's now instead of having the agreement between company so and so and the investor the agreement will be between government and the investors the benches are part of sources of finance for companies they are part of external long-term sources of finance when businesses record the benches so if I'm looking, say, at company so-and-so, on their balance sheet, it will be listed as a non-current liability item. I hope that you understand the benches a little bit better. And if you found this video useful, please consider liking this video and subscribing to the channel. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.